Brakte Ho, Brakte Ho Shai, Bashem Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Moonstone. So I want to the Akim out there who are pushing this word in all sincerity and in all truth. Alright, this is James Sobaya Shala. Alright, again with another short lesson. Alright, and this lesson is going to be focused on, you know, what's what you see on the screen. You know, the month of June, you know, celebrated <coughs> in the United States as um LGBT Pride Month, right? In which they they, they go around in, in, in protests and march and celebration, celebrating their so called lifestyle. Right? This is um a perfect example showing why America is spiritually called Sodom, right, and why the Lord is going to destroy them and why they are about to be utterly decimated in the coming World War Three. Right? So we're just gonna get into um an article about it, right, and then we're gonna bring out what the scriptures say regarding America. Right? Because it and the thing is, you know, you have a you have a lot of Christians, you know, who who oppose right, what we teach, saying that America will be destroyed. Right? You have a lot of Christians who oppose that America is Babylon the Great or even Sodom. And you even have Christians who believe and who support, you know, gay, lesbian and transgender um couples. Right? But the Lord is against this, yo. And it's it's not just the people who are who are partaking in um in in in, in 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 these activities but those who don't have a problem with this as well right you have our people here in jamaica who are who are increasingly becoming um you know homosexuals and and and, and transgenders and all kind of nastiness right and then you have others that are entertained by it and who have, who don't have a problem with it right all you people will receive the same judgment now right those say the scriptures and we're going to bring it from the scriptures right what is the prescribed judgment you know for you know their gay pride month because the law the law is about to judge them you know right the law is about to judge them so let's get to this um article it's from the business insider it says june is lgbt pride month here's what you need to know right how do we how do we end up in a system right where where, where this is celebrated you know? where this lifestyle is, is is celebrated where they have a whole month right to be proud about about being an abomination you know Right? Can you imagine how the Lord is uh, is angered by this, yo? Right? Imagine how the Lord is angered looking down on this madness, yo. Right? So let's continue. It says, June is Pride Month, with when cities across the U.S. show support for LGBT rights, culture, and communities. It's, tradi it, <clears throat> it's a tra tradition that goes back to the 1970s, when cities began hosting events to commemorate the Stonewall riots, and highlight the issues that LGBT Americans still face, right? Hey, those these issues that they're facing is nothing compared to the extinction that they will they will face soon enough, yo. Right? So let's um. It says, what is Pride Month and how are cities celebrating it? Pride Month is a month long. Pride is a month long LGBT celebration, protesting an act of political protest and act of political activism in the U.S. Nearly every city has some sort of big event, <clears throat> usually a large parade, with plenty of rainbow iconography. Right, and that's another thing, yo. The, the, these people have, have made the Mosai symbol corrupt, yo. Right, the Mosai, the, the, the Lord put, you know, the rainbow in in in, in the sky af after the flood, right, to to as a reminder of His promise that He won't destroy the earth with water anymore. Right, this time He's going to use fire. But these 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 abominations. You know, these men who are made to be taken and destroyed, these are men and women who are made to be taken and destroyed, have polluted the Heavenly Father's symbol, yo, using it as a symbol for the for their um nastiness, yo. Right? <clears throat> it says um usually a parade with a plenty of rainbow iconographic glitter and floats driven by local companies and and organizations. <clears throat> right? When did it start? It says the history of pride as well as the larger LGBT rights movement dates back to the 1960s at the Stonewall, Stonewall Inn in Manhattan. The venue was known as the rare spot where same-sex patrons could dance with each other without the fear of harassment. At the time, it was fairly common for police to raid gay bars and nightclubs, especially in big cities like New York City and Los Angeles. Right, some, Sometimes these raids would result in the violence on behalf of officers. In the early mornings of June 28, 1969, the police raided Stonewall, but this time patrons fought back. Marsha P. Johnson, a black trans woman 
right? An abomination, pretty much. Celebrating her 25th birthday at the time is credited with starting the uprising, right? So here's the part that's angered me the most. So it says the Stonewall Inn, a two story establishment on, on Manan's west side, still operates today as a gay bar and entertainment revenue. Throughout the week, it hosts and dance party. It hosts dance parties and drag shows. In 2015, the city of New York designated Stonewall as a historic landmark. Yo. A year later, President Obama named it a national monument. Right? Hey, a, f a few years ago, you know, um, we in the Portland camp, we went on the, the local television show, you know, and we, 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 we boldly played that Obama is a faggot, yo. And they asked us to apologize for it because we did it on, 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 um, on the local TV show, but we wouldn't, yo. Right? And we stand by that, that, that statement. And this is one reason why we stand by that statement that, Ob that Obama was a faggot, yo. Or is a faggot. Right? Because he, 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 um, he named this place a national monument, yo. Showing you that he supports uh, um, this madness, yo. Right? So he's, he, he, he's numbered among them who is going to be destroyed, yo. <clears throat> right? They made it an historic landmark. So basically what they're saying is that um, they, 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 and a matter of fact, that was in another article, right, that I brought out <coughs> for um, gay history or, or gay history awareness, right, where they, 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 um, they're basically comparing the persecution that the LGBT community faces with the persecution that, 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 that the African Americans, so called African Americans, which you know are Hebrew Israelites, right, they are, they are comparing what they face with what, they, they are, what we faced in, 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 in slavery, right, utter rubbish, yo. So you're making this place a historic landmark, right? Saying that it's, it, it's so important, it's a part of the nation's, uh, it's basically a part of the nation's fabric, yo. It's a part of the nation's culture, right? So, so America celebrates, right, and glorifies this lifestyle, yo, right? So that means that this place is truly Sodom, yo. It's truly Sodom. How can you not see that America is Sodom, yo, right? And if you can see that America is Sodom, how can you not agree that it will get the same punishment that Sodom get got in the in, in, in the in um in the past, yo? <coughs> Alright, let's bring out the precept. Um it's pretty much the end of the article. We don't really have to go in there any further. We can just post it in um on the <coughs> on this the, the video description. So this is um Isaiah chapter three. And verse 9, it said, The show of their countenance does witness against them. They declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their souls, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Right? They have rewarded thermonuclear missiles unto themselves, yo. Alright, this is Jude chapter 1, verse 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah in, and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication. <clears throat> and when you look up the word fornication, it means all, all sexual perversion, yo. Not just um, adultery. Right, but also um, bestiality, right, homosexuality, yo. right. They gave themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh. Are set forth as an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire, right. <clears throat> so these men, right, America, right, will fall after the same example after Sodom, yo. right. And that's plain and simple and to the point. There's no two ways about it. This is 2 Peter 2 and verse 6. And, the, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that should, uh, that should after live ungodly. Right? And delivered just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them in seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. So if you are righteous, if you are a part of that number, you will be vexed by these things, yo. You won't be going along and saying, hey, they can do whatever they want to do. You know, I don't care, you know. They can have their rights and really, really. No, you should be vexed, yo. Right? If you're saying that they can do whatever they want to do, right, you basically, to if, if, if you're tolerating them, right, you, you, your, 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 your judgment is the same as them, yo. Right? Your judgment is the same as them. It's Revelation chapter 11, verse 8, And their city shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. This is talking about America, yo. America is Sodom right now, and it's Egypt because that's where we serve bondage, yo. Right? And that's, that, that's plain unto the point, yo. It's easy to see. This is um, Luke chapter 17, verse, verse 28. <clears throat> Likewise, also in the days of Lot, they did eat, they did drink, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. Right? That's what they do in America now. 
They're celebrating, they're eating and drinking, buying and selling, marrying, planting, building. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Right? Yes, yeah, so all these people are going to be destroyed, yo. Right? See, it's going to be destroyed. And it says, even thus in the same day when the Son of Man is revealed, in that day he which shall be upon the house top and the stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not turn up, return back. Remember Lot's wife, whosoever shall seek his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life, whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it, yo. See, and so the scripture says what? Remember Lot's wife, yo. Lot's wife did what? She looked back, yo. She looked back because she didn't want to she, she didn't want to lose the life that she had in Sodom, yo. You have a lot of our people who are so caught up, right, in, in the trappings of the American lifestyle, right? And the, and the things that they can afford their, their flesh, the pleasures that they can afford their flesh, their flesh, that they want to live alongside these the, 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 these homosexuals and these transgender, yo. They tolerate it because of the things that they can get in America, yo. Right? So they, they are lots of wives, yo. Right? But they, they will what? They will be destroyed along with it, yo. Alright, this is Amos chapter 9 and verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Because the Lord will what? Will deliver his elect from America, yo. Will deliver his elect with the chariots, which you so-called white people call UFOs, yo. Right? We we identify them. We know that they are the chariots of the uh, of the heavenly Father, and that angels operate them, yo. And they will be our deliverance, yo. Right? So the scripture said, the Lord's eyes are upon the sinful kingdom, which are the angels, right? And He will utterly destroy it from off the face of the earth, yo. Right? Let's just get um that precept in Romans to show that not only if those who do these things, but those who have pleasure in them that do it will also be destroyed, yo. Right? Let's get let's go to Romans one. Right? For all you people who say you tolerate it, but you're not you're not a homosexual. Alright, this is Romans 1 verse 32. Who knowing the judgment of Yahweh, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. All you people that go to Shibada show, you know, that faggot, that abomination, and laugh, right, and be entertained, right, you are going to be destroyed along with him, yo. Right? Thus say the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Right, so with that, I hope this lesson was edifying to elect. Alright, again, Kalalalium, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakodash, Shalawam.